Electric cars are normal on the streets these days, but the next biggest test for the EV sector will be semi-trucks. Autonomous or driverless trucks will be standard long-distance highway driving in the near future. But Tesla is not the only car company preparing to build an all-electric truck. In this video, we will be taking a look at some of the electric trucks that are well on their way to be Tesla. From electric car startups to the old-school auto giants, the automotive industry is gearing up for a battle royale as companies race to deliver the first all-electric truck to the mass market. Volvo Self-Driving Semi-Truck Volvo announced its first self-driving truck in September 2018, a model named Vera. It's been designed as a replacement for trucks that move large volumes of goods between fixed hubs, such as at a port facility, rail yard, or mining site. The Swedish automotive titan has partnered with ferry and logistics giant DFDS to use Volvo Trucks Vera to transport goods between a logistics hub and a port in Sweden. Though there is no official announcement, it is expected to be equipped with a 185 kilowatt electric motor, producing 174 bhp and 425 nm of torque with a two-speed gearbox. It draws power from a 100 to 300 kilowatt hour lithium-ion battery. The Vera autonomous truck can pull a load of up to 32 tons. Einride T-Log Truck 4x4 When a tree falls down in the forest, you can hear the truck coming from miles away. But that won't be the case if it's the latest offering from Swedish startup Einride. Einride has chosen the Goodwood Festival of Speed to reveal the T-Log, an autonomous electric logging truck. Like most other autonomous trucks, it doesn't have a driver's cab. The battery electric vehicle has been designed to operate autonomously, and the latest generation is expected to travel between 130 and 180 kilometers per charge and haul up to 18 pallets in the back to a maximum cargo weight of 16 tons. It is powered by tech from NVIDIA Drive and it can be remotely controlled through a teleoperation system designed by Phantom Auto. Einride says it has registered interest in T-Log trucks from several global companies. Mercedes-Benz e-Actros In 2016, Mercedes-Benz trucks became the first manufacturer in the world with a heavy-duty electric truck. The technology pioneer is now taking the logical next step, putting its electric truck, the e-Actros, out on the road with customers. The developers at Daimler Trucks replaced the drivetrain with a new electrically driven rear axle with electric motors, which gets the power from a battery pack consisting of three lithium-ion battery modules. The series production E-Actros planned for 2021 will have a range of well over 200 kilometers. There will be 10 vehicles in two variants with a gross vehicle weight of 18 or 25 tons. Customer trials are planned to begin in 2023 and the start of series production is planned for the second half of this decade. Many awards, including the International Truck of the Year 2020 award, confirm that Mercedes-Benz truck's new flagship raises the bar in many ways. Thor ET1 Dakota Semler, the 25-year-old founder and chief executive officer of Thor Trucks, has developed with his team an all-electric semi that's been dubbed the ET1. The ET1 is the first product from the company, and Semler hopes it will be the flagship model in a robust, customizable line that will also eventually include delivery vans and work vehicles. The goal is to work on a one-off basis, customizing clients' fleets per their specifications. With a sleek, futuristic aesthetic, it can haul up to 80,000 pounds of cargo. The 22-inch touchscreen on its dashboard checks on the vehicle's electric motor and battery packs, which can carry the truck 300 miles on a charge. With a top speed of 70 miles per hour, it will ensure a recharge from empty takes 90 minutes. Daimler Freightliner e Cascadia Daimler, one of the world's largest truck makers, has been feeling the pressure from Tesla's electric truck. The German truck manufacturer answered back with the launch of its own electric truck group, along with the unveiling of two more electric trucks, including an electric version of their Cascadia, the most successful, heavy-duty, long-distance truck to compete with Tesla Semi. It is a Class 8 truck with 80,000-pound gross weight and is planned to have up to 730 peak horsepower. The batteries are planned to provide 550 kilowatt-hours usable capacity, support a range of up to 250 miles, and have the ability to charge up to 80% in about 90 minutes. Cisco, the food service company, which runs the second largest private fleet in the nation, is testing an all-electric Daimler Freightliner e Cascadia through January. 
Gruzovicus intelligent and driverless truck. Without context, if you looked at the Gruzovicus, your first instinct would be to wonder why its cockpit is so slim. Because it's got no cockpit. Moscow-based creative studio art Lebedev Studio released renderings of Gruzovicus, a concept semi-truck that may pave the way for self-driving freight tractor trucks. It literally looks like a horizontal L if you look at its side profile. According to the studio, the Gruzovicus will be able to travel around 200 kilometers per charge. It's the result of 43 days of work for the team at Art Lebedev Studio. Fitted with passive computer vision technology, including cameras, sensors, and radars, the truck is able to capture distance to nearby objects, while the central computer instantly triggers a response to change in traffic conditions. Tesla Semi-Electric Truck Tesla Semi is a heavy-duty, all-electric truck program at Tesla led by Jerome Guillen. The Semi will be capable of driving for up to 600 miles on a single charge, even when fully loaded, Musk has previously claimed. According to Daimler, if the claims Tesla is making about its electric semi-truck are true, they are breaking the laws of physics. Each truck and trailer combo would weigh 80,000 pounds fully loaded and run a daily 100-mile route at an average top speed of 60 miles per hour. The Tesla Semi was shown as a Class A day cab model with four independent electric motors. Semi-Tesla will install networks of mega chargers, which are said to add about 400 miles in 30 minutes. Kenworth T680E Kenworth has launched its Kenworth T680E, its Class 8 battery electric model. According to Kenworth, the T680E has an estimated operating range of 150 miles, and the zero-emission truck is estimated to have a 3.3-hour charging time using a CCS1 DC fast charger with a maximum rate of 120 kilowatt hours. Kenworth and Meritor collaborated on the development of the T680E, which features Meritor's Blue Horizon 14XE tandem electric powertrain, as well as a two-speed integrated transmission and a top speed of 70 miles per hour. The T680E comes in two configurations, either a 54,000 pound or an 82,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating. It is equipped with 536 horsepower of continuous power and up to 670 horsepower peak power with 1,623 pound-feet of torque. Mercedes Euro X Mercedes hits for the second time in our list of some best trucks. This minimalist truck named Mercedes Euro X was actually designed by Moyun Cho as an intermediary step between human-operated trucks and absolute autonomy. This futuristic semi-autonomous truck boasts an aerodynamic, arrow-like face that slices through the air to decrease resistance and improve mileage. A cozy space for a driver has been relocated to the center and lower portion of the cabin, where they can monitor systems in between kicking back and enjoying the ride. So there is no need for any windows as the driver is in the center. Bugatti Hypertruck Concept Bugatti makes some of the fastest cars in the world. If they decided to apply their talents to the semi-truck, they might end up with something like this hypertruck concept. This hypertruck concept was brought to life digitally by Prathyosh Devadas, a senior interior designer for Chinese auto giant Dongfeng. Characterized by its single-piece design, the Bugatti hypertruck is supported by eight wheels. There's no talk of a potential powertrain, but if this truck isn't electric, we'd like to see how it might perform with a Chiron's quad-turbo W16 engine installed. It makes 1,479 horsepower and 1,180 pound-feet of torque in the supercar. The idea of a Bugatti truck may be far-fetched for now, as Bugatti is busy making derivatives of its Chiron. But we won't know what the future holds. A 300-mile-per-hour semi on the freeway? Let's see what happens. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up to show your support. And for more videos like this, hit that subscribe button.